Hi, Deirdre McNamara here, and I'm just going to show you how to create your table of contents uh, by using some of the built-in styles uh, and headings that are available in Word 2013. Uh, okay, I've just got a report uh, here in front of me, and it's quite a long report, uh, just to save me a bit of work. Um, so if, for example, this is you want this to be a major heading and for it to appear in your uh, table of contents, you click into, you don't have to select, you just have to have your cursor flashing at you, um, that's a little line flashing at you um, in the heading and then on the home tab in here you select heading one okay and then you go to the next thing that you want to be a major heading so this thing here is also a major heading for me so I'm going to click on heading one and these ones here I'm going to make heading two they're headings but they're not as major heading as uh, the different section headings so that's a smaller heading oh sorry I shouldn't have clicked there and click in here and heading two and oh, there's another heading two and click on hit all heading two now um, it can get quite tiring clicking backwards and forwards I tend to stay on my keyboard so if I am using the keyboard I can move down move to the particular section and if I want to apply heading one on my keyboard if I hold down CTRL that's control alt that's ALT so hold down control and alt together and then tap the one key and that applies heading one control alt and two applies heading two so CTRL and alt together and then tap the number two that'll make it heading two and down arrow there's another heading two control alt two and you go down through the document putting on your major heading and your minor headings um, and control all two and control all two and then you move down through the document okay once you've put on all of your heading styles um, you might decide actually do you know what at the moment my heading ones are blue and I'm printing out uh, on a black and white printer and actually I prefer a different font for my major headings um, so if you want to change the way that all of your heading ones uh, look you right mouse click uh, on the heading one up here on the home tab and then click on left mouse click on modify and in here is how you change all of the formatting so I'm going to change the color first of all across to black um, and I'll make it center aligned okay so it's going to be in the center of your document and I'll just to make it very obvious to you I'll just increase the size as well maybe 18 is a little bit large maybe I'll go 16 okay it's center aligned and it's black okay and I click on OK and you'll see here it was blue it's now black it's center aligned and it's slightly larger but not only the first one but here the second one and all of the other ones as well will have changed now um, our heading twos at the moment here this is a heading two I can see it's a heading two because when I click on it it automatically moves over to heading two here heading twos at the moment are orange in color again that's not necessarily what I want so I'm going to right mouse click on heading two and left mouse click on modify I'm going to move it across to black and again I possibly wouldn't in real life actually choose underline but just so you can see it very clearly I'm going to underline it um, and the font for example here uh, is Verdan at the moment I might decide to go across to maybe Arial uh, Arial okay so Arial and size 14 and underlined and bold and click on OK and here you'll see that one has changed um, and this one has changed now you can see this is a heading 2 as well do it okay um, and you'll see all of the heading 2's automatically uh, will change over to this new formatting uh, that we've just put on so we've applied all of our uh, headings uh, normally it takes maybe three or four minutes to put on your headings it's not a major job it looks like it's a long job but it really doesn't take too long the next thing we'd like to do is we would like to um, <coughs> put in our table of contents so you go to the start of your document and a keyboard shortcut for doing that is control and home CTRL and home the home key on your keyboard and that brings you to the start of your document um, so I go to the uh, references tab up here so click on references click on table of contents and for example we can choose automatic table 2 so let's click on automatic table 2 now it automatically has put in uh, all of 
the table of contents and you can see this document is quite long so we've ended up with quite a long table of contents. We have a lot of heading twos. Now you might not want to show all of that detail so if you wanted to let me undo that, take out the table of contents and instead of having all the detail if I click on custom table of contents so references tab table of contents custom table of contents and in here show levels that's heading one that's level one that's level two that's level three if I reduce that down to only show one level and click on OK you can see that's a much shorter table of contents you can see here at the moment by default we get little dot uh, leaders going from the text across to the to the number if we wanted to change that custom table of contents in here we could for example have nothing we could have a straight line and maybe we could bring back the two levels and click on OK. OK, now as we add in additional um, uh, page breaks or we add in addic additional headings, automatically before we go to print, uh, the table of contents will update. So let's, for example, you'll see here, um, this is on page 2 of 13, section 1 is at the moment, but actually we prefer a page break after our table of contents. So I'm going to insert a page break. You can go insert uh, and page break in here, or on my keyboard, you can see here it's control and return. So I can just click in there. And you'll see that section one is now on the third page at this stage. When we look at our table of contents, however, um, it still says page two, which isn't correct. So if we click onto our table of contents, uh, to update the table of contents, all we do is we click on the uh, update table button here. Update page numbers only, update the entire table. I tend to update the enti entire table, so click on OK. And you can see it automatically uh, updates. Uh, section 1 is now on page 3. Don't worry overly if you forgot to do that, because when you go to print, it will automatically um, update for you.